All right, welcome once again to Matt Tech TV. This episode, I'm going to show very quick little tutorial of the basic features of the iPad app Show Me. And what Show Me does is allows you to create narrated screencast videos. Great tool for creating tutorials or demonstrations, reflections, a lot of things you can do. Uh, students can use it as well. It's a great tool for them to demonstrate learning. So let's go ahead and get started. First of all, I'm going to erase this screen. All right. So this is a basic screen. You should know that when you first sign in to show me uh, or first get on to show me, you, you'll want to create an account. What the account does is it allows you to share your videos online uh, on a free account page that you get on showme.com. Uh, we're going to skip that part of the process today. We're just going to talk about the recording process. Um, but let's, uh, you can figure that part out pretty easily. All right, so this is the interface, and just so you can see what some of the tools do, this is the font tool. It allows you simply to click and tap wherever you want it to go, and then you can say, you know, whatever titles you want. Okay. Then uh, the next tool is the erase tool. The erase tool does not work on text. It just works on drawings, so we're not going to worry about that right now. The next tool right here, this one uh, that looks just like the insert image picture on most Microsoft you know, Office things and so on, if you click that, it allows you to insert a photo as a background uh, or a prop in your, in your uh, video that you're doing. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to choose a photo and I like this feature you can search for photo on the web and you can see I've already typed in rainforest so I got a little head start so we're gonna pick this drawing and it takes just a second and now I've got this drawing as I click done as my backdrop for my video screencast that I'm gonna create um, this is the undo button as you might expect one of the most important buttons there is out there. This is the clear the screen button. Um, it allows you to just wipe everything off the screen, whereas the erase button, of course, just erases a small part. The record button, which we'll start in just a minute. And then these are the buttons that allow you to choose which color you want to do your sketching in, your drawing. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to re hit record. And yes, allow it to access the microphone. So now I'm recording. You can pick whatever color you want. And you can say, as I ride along here, all about rainforests. Then as I mentioned, this is the erase tool. So I could come in here and erase just like this, just by rubbing my finger over it, which is pretty cool. I can choose another color. And I can say, look, is that a parrot over there? I don't think so. But anyway, maybe it is. What is that right there? Maybe, oh, it's a leaf. thought maybe we had a monkey hiding up there. Maybe some bananas. All right. But anyway, basically that's it. When you're finished, you can either click pause just to temporarily stop your recording. Um, another thing you should know, you can even come up here and, like, hit this little button at the top right. And you can jump to a bl another screen, which in this case is blank. Uh, then I can continue recording. And you can see the counter starts again, so I am recording. And I can say, you know, whatever. I can draw the, the trees of the rainforest. And whatever. Okay, so you get the idea. So that's the basics. When you're finished, you simply click Done at the top. You say Save as a Draft, Save as Complete, or Discard, depending on how you feel about the recording that you just made. So I'm going to say save as draft in this case. It's going to save it for me. And then again, if I want to publish it, I would actually need to have an account. You can see it appears to sign up or log in. And that would let me save the final drawing to my account. And you can see some examples are here. Um, definitely worth checking out the collection because there's a lot of very good screencasts that are already uh, out there. So don't reinvent the wheel. When you want to start a new one, you come up here and click Create and you're back to your create screen. And that's basically it. That's how you create a screencast using Show Me.